This is the all-new VW Multivan. The T7 is this one now, the king of MPVs. We will find out for you together here on Auto Gefühl with Thomas. Let's take a look at the front. The typical round shape here, we know it, so an evolutionary design. But then here the light strip going all the way across the vehicle. LED is standard, optional, even matrix LED. In general, there's more standard equipment for this vehicle and we hardly ever hear that. This one here will be cheaper than the outgoing model or it will be the same price and include more equipment. Why? This now sits on the MQB platform, the passenger platform of the Volkswagen Corporation. So moving from commercial segment to the passenger segment for the passenger version. The commercial version will remain on a different platform. But here you can see also in the lower part more design elements. We also have this two-tone paint here and sensors hidden behind here because all the modern assistance systems are now also available here for the multivan. The length here is at 4 meters 97 or 196 inches. There will be two versions, a short one and a long version, like before. The shorter one has grown now, whereas the longer one has shrunk a little bit. 18 inch wheels we have right here, this is of course in the high trim level. And the plug-in hybrid, zoom on to that, also has the charging then here at the passenger side. Two-tone paint and when you are in the higher trim level you also have this chrome element which is splitting the two tones so really cool basically again form follows function of course with the upright line however the car itself is a little bit lower but you won't have a problem with headroom on the inside i can promise and also a nice panoramic roof coming up very soon for a van i think really cool in the design so that shows that although you have a boxy design it still can be attractive and it really looks premium from the outside don't you think so as well tail lamps in a modern design now and the whole rear is so yeah i mean really more than a dynamic almost for a van look at that the top wing massive yeah you know for the racetrack and so on definitely needed but this gives more dynamic character and towing capacity 2000 kilograms max or 4400 pounds so what do you think here about design from the exterior put it in the comments but the interior of course will be even more crucial and here we have a different paint for you black on the top red in the bottom just like the uh, vintage car model we have right here the t1 always nice to look at that one so you can see how the design is somewhat carried over through the generations this one by the way is also the longer version this longer version here now at 5 meters 17 or 204 inches so 20 centimeters or 8 inches difference between short and long version and here by the way we also have 19 inch wheels and since both versions have the same wheelbase it's just about the overhang so the short version like this and the long version here you can see the wider over or the longer overhang right here this is the car key we know it from the passenger lineup high gloss black hmm, yeah okay keyless entry here you can see at the moment the side mirror is fold in put my hand right here then it opens and ta-da i use the force <laughs> then here door closing sound really solid it's very nice and interesting also that on the key here it's special then for this one i press it here and then also electronic electronically the side door opens and there's also a second one soon more about that first look here at the rear soon more deals that this will be really crucial the changes here i can promise but first of all here in the front it's a nice build quality here a soft cover off here for your arm show uh, elbow and new inserts here different stylings available good build quality also with the buttons for the windows yeah classic controls also for the side mirrors and here a lot of space this is of course really crucial and look at that here it's like a paddle light with a new shape really interesting hard to see on camera yeah maybe that way <laughs> okay and then here we go look at that new steering wheel also from the passenger lineup and digital instruments 10.25 inch they are also standard just an option with more elaborated visualization seats here from fabric in the two-tone styles i think also really nicely done and they feel robust but at the same time they're also really breathable and at, at both sides you have here some armrests so that's also quite fancy lumbar support electric and also with nice clicking sound so let's get inside of course i always step in but wow, what a nice and comfortable seating position. This is really awesome. It's super comfortable indeed. You have a good view to the front and so on. Digital instruments. They have the lounge that you can switch the views. And for example, have the map all over the place like this. This is of course really helpful for navigation. 
or like this and so on so you can take your personal or favorite view and also in this view you can um, change around the things and a nice option will also be the head-up display so we can really say this MPV segment here is now really modernized. Here on the right side next to the infotainment system this is where I can open the side doors from here so that's actually quite fancy. Then this main infotainment unit yeah the thing that I don't like so much again these capacitive buttons here for the temperature control and also for the sound control that's maybe not good but whoa the Harman Kardon sound system really awesome and so much surround atmosphere here because we have a big interior space that's really cool would love to have that one in, in the multi run then here the infotainment software this again the weakness of this vehicle but again about all bw skoda seat at the moment the recent software fix made it definitely better but still it's not that well usable because it's just really really slow and now the crucial area here the rear area and really cool to have two sliding doors and big news then here in this rear compartment because first of all single seats all over the place you always get single seats let's close the door here again it's better for the light for the camera so and they're also quite adjustable here with these um, strips for example you can put this one and put the head restraint up they have an armrest as well here it also be fixed and Wow, this is also so upright and so comfortable and once again an open room atmosphere and the cool thing is really since every seat is individually and there's a new completely new rail system which is super smooth so sometimes when you are in these MPVs and you move the seats it's like da -da 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 -da. but here just listen you almost hear nothing and you feel also there's no vibration or something super smooth to slide backwards and forwards then you can have this well this is not my favorite one though here for cup holes as well so the seats completely new then and the whole rail system and the same also goes here for, for that one here for example like this then you can also it's another special lever right here open it like this and have some storage underneath the seat interesting here we have heated seats at the outside each although we can take them out completely and this is actually very rare so fold like this and then at the back part there's a red strip and when I pull this one I can just pull it out like this so and that's it actually and they are like 25% lighter now um yeah like a little bit over 20 kilograms it's of course not super light but lighter than before and I mean this is such an easy system and that way you can take out all the different seats and them in again that's it they're in the rail so it can't be easier than that and this is to me the biggest advantage of this vehicle opening the tailgate with the key or right here and when you have the electric tailgate now new function with the foot kick opening mechanism there we go so of course also a good feature but just be <laughs> careful with that 470 liters the minimum figure 1850 the maximum depending on the seating row you can see here the length right there when the third row is installed 14 inches or 35 centimeters a backpack easily fits in there and you can also remove this top cover and this being here the t7 long version here on the inside this is the two meters or 80 inches we had before and now additional look at that so additional 50 inches or additional 40 centimeters you have this length and more on the inside this is of course you know when you have like like a surfboard or something definitely fits better on the inside then when you have the longer version then it's also no problem when all the way <laughs> full of tall adults so i can easily sit in the third seating row right here then even though when the second seat is set to this position right here so then you have even more leg room left so definitely a cozier traveling experience but then again you have to think about when you are inside the city the shorter version on the exterior also has a lot of advantages for parking and so engines all front wheel drive so far this one here is the new 1.4 liter plug-in hybrid we know it from other folks on passenger cars 218 horsepower system output and pure electric range around 40 kilometers or 25 miles at least 13 kilowatt hour battery and there will also be an all-wheel drive version at the later stage then with an additional electric motor in the rear then you'll also have a 1.5 liter 
turbo petrol engine, a pure petrol engine, 136 horsepower, or a two liter TSI turbo petrol engine with 204 horsepower. And last but not least, still the two liter TDI, the diesel with 150 horsepower. Once again, interesting that they use the MQB platform right now. So you have to split it basically in three different segments. The passenger van here will sit on the passenger platform. Then the commercial van will still remain on the commercial platform. VW is developing a new one together with Ford. And the third one, the all electric one, will be the ID Buzz coming in 2022. That one will also have a separate electric platform. So really interesting. So I really think this one here sets new standard in the passenger MPV segment. Also tune into our Mercedes V-Class review so you can really compare these two cars which are still fierce competitors.